Hey guys, it's Ash, and today I'm gonna share three of the best decks that you can use at Arena 5 or higher. I'm gonna share one deck with the Prince card, the other with the Baby Dragon, and the last one with the Witch. So the first deck that I'll be sharing is with the Prince card. The Prince card is one of the best offensive cards in the game. The other best offense card is the Hog Rider. So you're getting two of the best offensive cards in one deck. So this is a very heavy offense deck. The Prince is weak to low HP hordes of troops. So you want to couple him with splash attackers. So that's why we have the Wizard. If you don't have the Wizard, you can substitute the Wizard for the Bomber. He also does splash and can take out those low HP troops, allowing your Prince to target the Arena Towers. You also want area damaging spell cards such as Fireball and Arrows as well. You need a lot of answers for the HUD spammers. HUD spammers are going to be a big problem for the Prince. So definitely you want Fireball, Arrows, Wizard or Bomber. Also you want a really good offensive combo with the Free Spell. The Free Spell is one of the best spells in the game because of just how deadly it is. So if you don't have the Free Spell you can substitute it for the Lightning or the Baby Dragon. They're all good uh, but the Free Spell is the best. It can allow your hog rider to freely target the uh, arena tower by freezing the threats along with the minion horde. The minion horde is a excellent defensive stopper. It can take out some of the best cards in the game uh, such as opposing prince, hog rider, golem, pekka, giant skeleton, balloon and the list just goes on and on. And uh, spear goblins is your low elixir range attacker. You can also use the archers if you like. But yeah, this is definitely one of the best decks for any Arena 5 player. And I'm going to show you guys a live attack now. Okay, we're up against James. And let's see, our starting hand is Spear Goblins, Arrows, Fireball, Freeze. Okay, we're going to start off with the Spear Goblins here. Once we load up on Elixir. And there we go. Let's see what he does here. He has a, a Bomb Tower. Okay. Um, not a very good hand here. We're going to start off with the Wizard again here and try to couple him with the prince as we load up on elixir let's see what he does he sends out a giant skeleton uh okay we're gonna send out our prince from the other side in this case and let's see um okay unfortunately he has a bunch of cards to stop my prince okay so he has a very good <laughs> combination of cards right there this the skeletons and then the archers to remove the at our prince and here we're gonna send out the minion horde it's gonna quickly take out his giant skeleton and then also his bomb tower over there but he has a fireball not a problem because his bomb tower is done anyway there's only like 10 percent left so we're looking very good here and let's see we're gonna send out our spear goblins now again once we load up on elixir okay here we go let's see he's gonna send out another bomb tower yeah he's gonna send out another bomb tower Okay, now we're gonna send out our wizard here and uh, prepare our, okay, he's gonna send out his prince. We're not gonna allow his prince to charge. So we're gonna send out our prince right onto his prince. And uh, let's see here. Um, okay, he's gonna send out a knight on the right side. Nice, our prince dealt some damage onto that bomb tower. And we're just gonna allow our arena tower to take out his knight here. The knight is very slow, as you can see, it didn't even touch our uh, tower. We're gonna send out our hog rider combined with the minion horde deadly combination here. Uh, he's gonna send out, he's gonna place a fireball. Okay, so he did stop our combination there. Um, but we took out his tombstone and also made him use a fireball. And again, send out our spear goblins here. Let's see what he does. Okay, we're gonna send out our wizard onto the left side, change lanes, and couple him with the prince ahead of him. So if he sends out, okay, he's gonna send out his giant skeleton. Um, in that case, okay, we're gonna start off with the hog rider on all the way at the uh, far end here. And let's see, we're gonna couple him with the minion horde, quickly take out the bomb tower. And on the right side, he's gonna have, he's gonna push on the right side. We're gonna freeze that prince. We're gonna send out our own prince here, take uh, his prince out as his prince and the archers are frozen. It's a great defense right there. And uh, let's see, his tower on the right only has 700, so just need our hog rider to target his tower. Um, okay, we're gonna send out our wizard here, let's do what he does, six seconds. And we're gonna send out our minion horde to quickly take out the bomb tower and uh, the tombstone there. Now we can send out our hog rider on the right side and then freeze come on come on there we go freeze and that's gonna be game great game
Okay, next I'm gonna share one of the best Arena 5 decks with the Baby Dragon. So you have the Baby Dragon dealing splash damage, you have another splash attacker, the Wizard, uh, Fireball dealing area damage, Lightning spell dealing area damage. So HUD spammers are gonna be no problem against this deck with all of these area damaging cards. If you don't have the Lightning spell, you can also use the Free spell. Um, Hog Rider, obviously excellent combination uh, with the Minion Horde and the Baby Dragon and the Wizard, great combo. Uh, the Baby Dragon is also a very good combo with the Minion Horde of course, uh, two air attacking troops, the Baby Dragon can shield for the Minion Horde. Uh, and then you have two of the best defenses in the game, the Barbarians and Minion Horde. They can take out so many troops together, so this is like the ultimate defensive stopping combo. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best Arena 5 decks with the Baby Dragon as well. And I'm going to show you guys an example. Up against this level 9 player, uh, we have the Wizard, Minion, Horde, Hog Rider, and Lightning Spell. Okay, we're going to start off with our Hog Rider since he's the lowest elixir uh, card here. So we're going to start off all the way at the bottom here. Let's see what he does. Um, we're going to combine him with the Minion Horde now. He still hasn't played anything. Okay, he's gonna send out his mini P.E.K.K.A. He was waiting for that, okay. <laughs> and we're just gonna allow our Tar to remove his mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Uh, he's gonna send out his Hog Rider. Unfortunately, we don't have a very good answer to that, so we're gonna have to quickly send out our Wizard and Spear Goblins here to quickly take out his Hog Rider. And let's see what he does here. Um, okay, we dealt some damage onto his tower. We're gonna send out our Baby Dragon, take out his Barbarians here. Great. And then we're gonna combine that baby dragon with the hog rider. So while our baby dragon is distracting his baby dragon, our hog rider is gonna go straight for his arena tower. Perfect. And let's see here. Yeah, he, he sent out his his mini Pekka. Okay, all we have to do now is send out our barbarians here, and they're gonna be able to quickly take out that mini Pekka. And uh, let's see, we're gonna load up on the elixir. He's gonna have to play something to stop those barbarians. So he's gonna play his wizard here. Unfortunately, that's a level 7 wizard. Our fireball is not gonna be able to take it out in one shot. So we're just gonna load up on elixir instead here. And now we're gonna place that lightning quickly onto his hog rider and wizard and then use our spear goblin to finish off his hog rider. Perfect. And uh, unfortunately, he also dealt some damage because obviously he has very high level cards. Uh, and he's also at a higher level. He's gonna always be able to deal more damage onto us. So here we're just gonna place our fireball, take out his barbarians, perfect. And let's see, we're gonna load up on the elixir again. And then our plan is gonna be to send out our baby dragon all the way at the end here. Okay, he's gonna send out his uh, prince. We should have played the barbarians here instead. I had to make a quick decision. Uh, he's gonna use a free spell, not a problem. I'm just gonna load up on the elixir and then place our wizard beside our baby dragon. And let's see, he's gonna send out his hog rider, send out our barbarians, take out his hog riders pretty quickly here. And uh, on the other side, he's gonna send out his mini Pekka, so we're just gonna use our spear goblins to distract. And our arena towers is gonna quickly take it out. And look at that, we're making a big push on the right side. Awesome. Now we're gonna play, uh, keep up, keep up that push, send out our minion horde here. Send out our baby dragon, uh, 19 seconds left, so keep pressuring him on the right side. And there we go. Is that going to be, come on, come on, three crown against the level nine. Really want that. Um, we're going to place our lightning here. Yes, I think we can three crown uh, level nine. Nice, awesome. So yeah, very powerful deck as you guys can see. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna share one of the best decks with the Witch card. Now with the Witch, you want a really good defensive troop that can protect her, such as the Giant. The Giant is the highest HP uh, troop that you can get as an Arena 5. So definitely wanna use the Giant and behind him, you also wanna use some powerful ranged attackers. So that's why we have the Musketeer and the Wizard. The Wizard does splash damage, while the Musketeer does strong point damage. So they make for a great combination behind the Giant, as well as the Witch, and she also does splash damage. So you have a lot of splash attackers, the Witch, Wizard, and Fireball to deal with the HUD spammers and hordes of low HP troops. And uh, obviously you have your Hog Rider, you really need a good offensive push here. A another combination with the Hog Rider is the Giant, which is very good. The Giant can shield for your Hog Rider as your Hog Rider goes for the tower. 
And uh, basically, you want to form that combination of which uh, wizard or musketeer behind the giant. And that's going to be a very deadly combination to stop for any player. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, we're up against this Asian guy. Okay, um... Let's see here. We have the witch, musketeer, giant, and wizard. We're gonna start off with the giant here at the back, load up on some elixir, and then we're gonna form that combination with the witch behind, and then our musketeer. So let's see, um, he has a goblin hot. Okay, now we're gonna send out our witch behind our giant, and we're also gonna combine that with the musketeer now behind. Let's see what he does to stop this combination. And he, both of his uh, musketeer and the bomber clumped right next to his tower. Perfect place to place the fireball to take them all out. Um, so unfortunately, he took out our combination. But we're still at the lead here. We're going to use our minion horde quickly take out his prince. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't have enough elixir to stop that charge. Okay, he's going to use the arrow and he's going to completely miss. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's see, we're going to load up on Elixir again here. Look at that minion horde dealing so much damage because of that big mistake he did with the arrow. Wow, our minion horde took out his tower. Damn. That, so as you can see, just how powerful the minion horde can be. Again, we're going to start off with the giant here and load up on Elixir and then form that combination again. He's going to use his goblin hut. Uh, not a problem. We're gonna place, let's see, right after that goblin comes out, we're gonna place our spear goblins right onto it. And right behind here, we're gonna send out our witch and our musketeer combo. Take out his musketeer. Perfect. And uh, he has a bomber, not a problem. Take him out. Prince, not a problem. Use our minion horde. It's gonna quickly take out his prince. And let's see. Okay, this time he's not gonna miss with that arrow. Okay, uh, we're gonna load up on Elixir again. Just gonna play it slow and form that combination with the Giant. So here, start off with the Giant. He's probably gonna pressure us on the left side because he really needs to take that tower down. So what we're gonna do now is send out our Hog Rider behind the Giant. And as you can see, he's attacking on the left side. Bomb, bomb uh, Fireball right there, take them out. And the Witch is gonna finish them off. Okay, great, and on the right side, we can make that push. Uh, Hog Rider and Giant targeting his tower. He has a good counter to that with the Minion Horde. Here we're gonna play defense, because uh, that's all we need to do right now is just play defense because uh, we're in the lead. So no need to play risky. But at the same time, I also wanna weaken his right tower because if he does manage to get our tower here, as he's gonna get it here. So we're gonna then use our Minion Horde on the right side, he's gonna probably played the arrow card here not enough to finish our hog rider so we're gonna finish off his tower on the right and as you can